Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. While our first Path of Exile expansion is due in early March 2014, we will be releasing seven bi-weekly content updates between now and then. The first one, Patch 1.0.1, .1, is coming out this week. This video examines some of the more visible changes in the update. Please note that anything shown in this video could change by the time it is on the live servers on Wednesday. We're filming it on an unfinished version of the patch. Path of Exile's race events have been very successful. One of the most popular ones was a mode called Descent, where players must create new characters and fight through a custom dungeon that doesn't feature in the main Path of Exile storyline. For Race Season 5, which starts the weekend after this patch, we wanted to introduce a sequel to Descent. It's currently called Descent Champions, and takes place in a fictional scenario where the nobility have constructed an elaborate dungeon full of challenging monsters for champions to try to get through. This mode has several new features that the first Descent didn't have, such as a choice of forks in the progression, and a selection of different unique items to pick from at the start of the event. These uniques are designed for Descent Champions and don't appear in the core game. This new race mode is a lot of fun to play and we're really looking forward to seeing what you think of it. We've added two new sets of vendor recipes in this patch. One of these sets of recipes allows you to change what bandit leader you allied with in the Act 2 quests. By handing in the recipe, you receive a book that switches your choice in the current difficulty level to side with the indicated bandit leader. If you're wanting to undo the option where you received a passive skill point from Eremir, then you must have an unallocated point available to be removed. The other set of new vendor recipes is a secret and up to the community to discover. 1.0.1 contains a new support gem called Enhance. It's similar to the previously added Empower gem in that it does nothing at level 1, but has powerful effects when it eventually reaches level 2 or 3. Additional quality increases the rate that you're able to level this gem up at. We're not revealing exactly what it does at higher levels, but the community should discover it quickly enough. In this patch, we wanted to address balance concerns we had with the Purity Aura. We feel that it provided too much utility for its cost, but that there was definitely a place for powerful resistance auras in Path of Exile. Purity is now called Purity of Elements, and doesn't increase your maximum resistances anymore. We've added three new player aura gems, Purity of Fire, Purity of Ice, and Purity of Lightning. Each one increases your resistances to that element by more than the general Purity of Elements aura, and also increases your maximum resistances to that element. We've also introduced five new unique items in 1.0.1. .1. While we love to watch the community try to discover the uniques after each patch is released, we've decided to spoil one in this video. Dodri's Elixir is a unique Greater Mana Flask with some powerful properties. Drinking it adds one charge of each type to your character, but also removes 20% of your energy shield and deals chaos damage to you equal to 10% of your life. This may have some interesting interactions with cast on damage taken. Speaking of charges, we've updated the art for Frenzy, Power, and Endurance charges in 1.0.1. .1. It's now much easier to see how many you have up at once. We've also added three new microtransactions in this patch. There's a dance animation for the Scion class, a golden skin effect for the Spectral Throw skill, and a new Force Field skin for the Discipline Aura. The patch also includes dozens of other small changes that aren't covered in this video. Thanks for your continued support. We hope that you enjoy patch 1.0.1 and get a chance to check out Race Season 5 and Descent Champions. See you next time.